This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Capricorn from February 2nd to the 16th, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you and your love interest at the start of this period? Ooh, the Emperor. Nine of Swords. And the Fool card. You're starting on a whole new cycle here. But it's... it's it's almost like this person is, is what's starting that for you. You're dealing with someone that, that is very controlling in a sense, but their, their, their control is, is, it's promoting you to, to, into this new cycle. And they don't, they don't like losing control over you. So you're dealing with someone that has had control over you. But it's it's your breaking free of that control. You're you're creating a change here for yourself. You're starting something new. They don't like it. They do not like it. You may be dealing with an Aries or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But they do not like this change in you. You're freeing yourself. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords for them. Goodness for you, conquest. They may be trying to influence you with their the, the good side of their nature by giving to you, but it's it's not having the result. Like they want to have a conquest over you. They're used to that. Somehow you're you're breaking free of this. Let's ask. Let's ask what this new cycle means for you. What is this new cycle for you? Lovers. Four of Wands. What is this? And the Three of Cups. Celebration. This just gave me chills. Someone that was controlling you is not controlling you anymore. There's love coming into your life. And it's the type of love that you've been looking for. This is somebody else. It's you're you're done with somebody old here. And to fill in that gap, there's somebody else coming in. We got soulmate indicator and we got a twin flame indicator. The 1111 card is this is going to be someone that mirrors you. It's, it's like this shared purpose that you have to create something in this life. It's a twin flame contract. It's a wish fulfillment. It's going to be worth celebrating. It's going to be on public display here. Let's clarify this three of cups. For them, kindliness. For you, progress. Yeah, you're, you're progressing here. This person is going to come to you. It's kind of like this kindliness that they're attracted to you here. It could be through a social media thing. You might be meeting someone through social media. Three of Cups is, is very public. How are... Let's ask, do you know this person yet? This this person that, that's coming into your life. Do you know of them yet? Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. And the Death card. You're, you're going through this change. This, like sometimes, you know... To see the truth, you have to, to risk the dark. And that, that's kind of what you're going through. Like the fool is you starting a new cycle, but with that, you know, you do sometimes go back to, to, 
to look at the traumas, right? To, to, to see what it is that you really are leaving behind. You're in that process. You, you may still be not fully healed, right? But this, this is kind of what's bringing this person in. Somehow this person will, will have an impact on this, this period of, of you having to go through, through this dark land. Right. This person, they, they worked, perhaps they worked on themselves. This is someone who I want to say this is what they do for work. This could be someone that that has gone through something like this. And this is what they go. This is what they do for work. This is how they come into your life by giving you some sort of message that you're needing at this time. It's like they bring some sort of lesson to you. They know something. They've worked through something. They bring some sort of lesson to you. Could be an earth sign. This new person seems like they're an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's clarify what they're working on here. Or should we do the lesson? Let's clarify the lesson with that they're bringing you. For them? Ooh, a conversation. For you, exchange. Ha. Huh. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, I almost want to say you do know this person already. Like there's something that that's already, they've already put effort into here. This person may be what's tr triggering th this change for you. This is someone that has said something to you that's creating this change, this energy that you're moving away from a controlling, could have been a relationship, could have been something else. It was very controlling. It governed your life with this emperor. You're leaving that because of this person. And this is a soulmate. This is a twin flame. This is a very strong connection that is meant for you. I like this. I like this. What is this conversation? Something that comes from them. Let's ask what this person does. I want to know what they do here. This is more for my enjoyment. <laughs> what does this person do? The sun, another soulmate indicator. They bring healing. This is a, this is someone that, that creates healing. That this is someone that, that has this, this divine destiny. They, 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 they speak. They have this, uh, they have a very good connection with, you know, it's like the sun energy. It's this bringer of enlightenment. It's, they bring, they bring healing. Sun, Queen of Cups. This person is a healer, definitely. Could even work in the medical field, or they could be a, a psychologist, or, or they just have this divine understanding of how to bring healing. Ace of Cups. Start in love. This is someone that, that you is going to really trigger your heart. Someone that brings healing to your heart away from this emperor, from this controlling faction. This is liberation. That this is, this is someone that, that it's like when you meet, they change your life forever, right? It's this expansion, this enlightenment. This is a very beautiful soul, very mature soul energy coming from them. So much that, that their love for you makes you, makes you fall in love. I like this person. Let's clarify the sun for them. Moderation for you. Precaution. Yeah, it's kind of like somehow they they don't even try. So you you may you may be watching them. It's kind of like this precaution energy. It's like. They shine a light on something that perhaps you weren't seeing, something that that was an obstacle, something that that was 
needing to change for you. They do it from this place of love and healing. It takes you out of this energy of lack by telling you what, what to be careful of so that you're able to open your heart. This is someone that is going to teach you how to love right, how to love properly. I like this energy for you, this person. Really good. Ooh, in the extended, <laughs> I just looked at the first question. These are all random generated by the computer. So the way they come up, like I press a button, I don't even look at them. The first question, what are the false beliefs the love interest needs to let go of? We're going to change that. We're going to ask, what are the false beliefs that you need to let go of or you needed to let go of? Yeah. We'll ask, what should your next move be? What's something that will surprise you about this love interest, about this new love interest? And we'll ask, what is the love interest? What are they planning for the future with you? This new person. I feel that you're already, you already know who this person is. They're the ones that, that brought this change to you. They, they, they're the ones that made you see things from, from an elevated point of view. So yeah, we'll ask those in the extended. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank you.